Hi guys, this is a part 2 of full car edit tutorial. If you want to learn edit videos like this, make sure to watch it till the end. If you haven't seen the first part of full car edit tutorial, I highly recommend you to watch it as well cause, I show there how to speed ramp and stabilize your video step by step without skipping any part. Now let's begin with the effects. Any effect I will use in this video will be in the description, check it and download it for free. On my first clip I want to add a lightning effect and it means I have to track my camera first. I won't do any tracking on my main timeline, instead I will pre-compose my clip and apply any effect inside pre-composed layer. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Now double click on pre-composed layer and let's make any changes inside. Click on track camera and let's wait until analyzing is done. Once it's done, I will scroll the video to find some good points on a ground. Now let's select them, then right click and select set ground plane and origin. Right click again and select create null and camera. Now let's drag and drop a lightning footage. Link it to track null and then enable 3D on it. Position it now and change X, Y and Z rotations. Then scale it until it looks fine to you. Let's quickly check it. That looks cool and once you are satisfied too, you can close the composition and go back to main one. Once we have that first effect, let's jump to another one, and here I will make a wheel zoom out transition effect. Make sure you are at the beginning of your clip and then duplicate it. Right click on it, go to time and select freeze frame. Right click again and pre-compose duplicated layer, I will name it to wheel and then hit OK. Go 40 frames backward and move wheel layer there. Cut the wheel layer where the actual video starts from. Now we have to mask out the wheel, to mask I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha grab an elliptical tool and mask the wheel as smooth as possible. Once you are done, click on save and close Mocha AE. Expand mat now and click on create AE masks. Press M on your keyboard to open mask settings and select inverted. Now we have to create a camera layer to make zoom out transition. Go to layer tab, then new and select camera. Name it zoom out and change preset to 28mm and then hit OK. Cut zoom out layer to match your wheel layer's length. Enable 3D on wheel layer and then open zoom out transform settings. Scroll to the end of zoom layer and then click on point of interest and position stopwatch icons to create a keyframes. Press U on your keyboard to see only created keyframes. Scroll to the beginning of zoom out layer now and then grab a dolly cursor tool and zoom all the way in. Let's quickly check it. It is already cool. Select all keyframes now and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like mine. Select wheel layer and enable motion blur on it. That's better. Now we have to make a rim closing animation as well. Duplicate wheel layer. Select bottom one and rename it to closing. Press M to open mask settings and untick inverted. Press P to open position now and then scroll to very end of the layer. Click on position stopwatch icon, then go somewhere in the middle and change the position to right or left, it's up to you. And the second effect is ready, let's jump to another. Once it zooms out, I will create a wheel shockwave effect on the next clip. Duplicate the video and rename it to wheel shockwave. We should mask the wheel now, I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha grab an elliptical tool and mask the wheel as smooth as possible. Once you are satisfied with it, enable perspective and click on tracking button. Once it's done, click on save button and close Mocha AE. Expand mat now and click on create AE masks. Double click on anchor point tool now and move the anchor point to the center of the wheel. Now open wheel shockwave transform settings and click on anchor point and position stopwatch icons. Scroll forward and correct the anchor point, make sure to correct and center it till the end of the video. Once you are done, press S to open scale and then click on scale stopwatch icon. Scroll to the end of the layer and change scale to around 180%. Scroll to the beginning again and press T on your keyboard now and click on opacity stopwatch icon. Press U to open created keyframes and then scroll near to the end and set opacity to 0%. Let's add some effects now, add tint effect and then I will click on map white to eyedropper tool and select the color of the car. You can change map white to any color you want, pre-compose will shockwave layer now and let's add some glow. I will use a deep glow plugin. If you don't have it, write me on Instagram, plugins, and I will send you a deep glow and some other plugins for free. 
Now click on toggle switches slash modes and change will shockwave layers mode to screen. Let's check the effects we have made and then make another one. Everything seems fine to me, and the next effect will be the explosions in the background. First of all let's pre-compose the layer. Double click on it now and let's track the camera inside the pre-composed layer. Once analyzing is done, let's scroll the video and select some good points in the background. Right click on them and select set ground plane and origin. Right click again and select create null and camera. Let's drag and drop explosion footage now. Link it to attract null and enable 3D on it. Press S on your keyboard now and scale it, then change X, Y, and Z rotations. Also position it somewhere in the background. Let's speed up the explosion a bit. Right click on the layer, go to time and select, time stretch. Set the stretch factor to 40 and hit OK. Let's check it. Everything seems fine to me. Now let's make the explosion behind the trees and car. Duplicate your clip and move it above explosion layer. Delete 3D camera tracker and then grab a roto brush tool and double click on duplicated layer. Let's roto brush the sky only. Now click on invert foreground slash background to invert the selection and then hit on freeze button. Once the freezing is done, go back to composition. The explosion is now in the background and it looks so cool. Let's fix this edges now and we can jump to another effect. Add key cleaner effect. Tick reduce chatter and increase alpha contrast a bit. Note, this settings may not work for you, cause videos are different. Play around until edges are fully fixed. Once you are satisfied with it, let's close the composition and go back to our main one. Let's check all effects from the beginning. I'm happy with all the effects. On this clip I will mask out the headlight and then maybe let's add a rays effect. Let's duplicate that video and I will rename it to headlight. We have to mask out the headlight now, to mask I will use a roto brush tool. Once you are satisfied with the selection, hit on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. To add rays effect, I will use a god rays plugin. Check this video's description to download god rays for free. Ray's effect is ready and now let's jump to another one. On that last clip I will make a car slam effect. Let's duplicate the layer, then go to time and select freeze frame. Right click again and pre-compose that layer. Name it still image and hit OK. Go 40 frames backward now and move still image layer there. Also make sure to cut the ending. Now we have to mask out the car as smooth as possible. Let's grab a pen tool and mask it really quick. Once we have that masked out car layer, make sure to scroll to the end of still image and press P on your keyboard. Click on position stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now scroll to beginning and change position all the way up. Now select both keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. Enable motion blur on still image and we are done. Lastly we can add shake effects, I will skip that part because I have made a shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake presets. This was full and basic car effects tutorial, make sure to check the first part as well to learn how to make speed ramps and how to stabilize your clips. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.